You know, I like that we've taken, you know, uh, my old cliche is it's a season of lessons, and I, I think we've taken lessons from each practice and especially each game um, and really tried to improve on that throughout practice in the course of the season. I mean, we're far from a polished product right now, but uh, we've been able to use those situations in practice and games to improve, and hopefully we'll be playing our best in March, and uh, we're hoping to hit a stride a little bit this Friday night, obviously, in a big one against Wayne. Good team led by seniors. You've got uh, a, couple good, a number of good ones, but... Jackson and uh, Cannon, uh, what have they done to kind of set the pace for this team? Both are kind of long, have some height on the perimeter, can do a lot of sure. things. How they set the pace? Hey, you know, player-led teams always go further than coach-led teams, and, and Cannon and Jackson have been through a lot of wars together. Um, with us and I think you know they start speaking our terminology and leading our program the right way and obviously it helps they're tremendous basketball players you know they're, they're most nights they can uh, really lead on the offensive end and the defensive end um, so what they do on the floor is really tremendous um, and then you throw in we've got some leadership with some underclassmen too um, with Jair Sampson who's played since he's a freshman so those three really set the tone for our guys but uh, I probably can't say enough about our role players uh, you know we've got we play an eight or nine man rotation and those guys have done tremendous in our success this year. When you look at Wayne, what are your biggest concerns and what are some of the things you are working on to alleviate those concerns or limit some of the things that they do well this week Friday? Wayne does a lot of things well, so hard to sum it up, but they're unbelievable in transition. Um, obviously, I, we're pretty good in transition too, so it, interesting, it could be a really fast paced dynamic game, which would be fun to buy a ticket for, but um, they really worry us in transition and obviously the offensive backboards, Dillard, he's all man um, and we got to make sure we get a buy Body on him and try to limit his catches down there on the block. I know it's still early in the season, but when you look at uh, you know who, are, who some people project as SAC contenders, this could go a long way in determining at the end of the season who might be in the hunt for an SAC championship. So, how do you approach a game um, that can have an ultimate uh, impact on one of the goals I imagine you set at the beginning of the season, which is to win a conference championship? Sure. You know, I, I think it has to be a possession by possession game. Um, you know, getting too high and too low, it's going to be an emotional environment, especially here at home. Uh, a lot of people talking about it, but it's a game of possession. So, you know, we want really good possessions on offense where uh, we're not letting them off the hook by taking quick shots or forcing our way. Um, and then we want tremendous possessions on defense. You know, we've we, our two losses this year, I think our defense has let us down. Um, so we've really got to make sure we're hanging our hat on the defensive end. And usually we're dynamic enough on offense, we'll be able to put some points on the board. A final question, what are you most looking forward to about this Friday? It's, it's a highlight zone game of the week. A lot of people are talking about it. Two very competitive basketball teams. What are you most looking forward to? Hey, it's Friday night high school basketball, and uh, you know, hopefully, two of the better teams in Fort Wayne square off, and we get to host it. I, I think it's just going to be a tremendous environment. It should be fun for for both teams and anybody here to watch.